How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. This week I did not have time to make a full painting or sketchbook spread each day. Instead I wanted to take you with me on just one spread in my sketchbook. For this page I wanted to focus on some of my original characters in their kind of pupa state. So I sketched out with pencil and now I'm going in with just a thin round pointed brush and some of my acrylic gouache paints and I'm just going to layer it in on top. Meanwhile, keeping in mind that I wanna keep some of the paper showing through for the mid-tones. So far in my sketchbook, I haven't really utilized borders. So that was the main thing I wanted to play with this spread. I decided not to do anything too detailed because this week I just wanted to make sure I made time for my art practice and I really didn't have much time with the holidays coming up. I have a long to-do list of things to prepare so I didn't have time to get too detailed but I did want to make time to make art this week so this is a little taste of a quick painting in my sketchbook. The thing that I have found most important about developing your art style and overcoming artist block is to show up for yourself every day. Even if you hate it, even if it's small, even if you only have three minutes, whatever it is, something is better than nothing. And all of those little somethings truly add up and make all of the difference. So if you're one of the people who's really struggling with your art style or finding artistic motivation, I encourage you to think of it as a non-negotiable. I have to make something today. I want to make something today. And if it helps, you can even set a timer or put on a song that you really like and you have to complete it during that time. For this painting, it was the end of the day and I put on a show that I liked and I just decided that I had one or two episodes to paint. I'm actually doing this voiceover the night before this video goes live. I had already recorded an entire voiceover and I randomly decided I just wanted to listen to the video one more time before it goes live tomorrow. And I did not like the voiceover. I spent so much time on it. I actually scripted out a whole thing about the struggles of finding your artistic style and being your own worst enemy and all of this stuff that I really truly believe in. But listening it back made me really upset with myself and disappointed because it sounded so scripted and I was talking too quickly and it sounded scripted because it was. I wrote out everything I wanted to say and then I read from that script and it just felt so gross to me. I'm still discovering my niche on YouTube and why I'm making these art videos and I want to recenter myself around that. Really what I'm hoping to provide people is the company of another person who is new, doesn't know what she's doing, is really starting out this whole taking her art seriously, opening an Etsy store, trying to find a ways to monetize her art, but not as my main source of income, but more of a way to encourage me to pursue art more seriously and believe that it is good enough to sell, that it is good enough to consider myself an artist. And since that is what I am hoping to provide, this sort of comfort and visibility and camaraderie with my viewers, the original voiceover wasn't it. It made me sound like I knew what I was doing, like I am better than people, and that's just so far from the truth. Right now, outside of these videos, I'm starting to read The Artist Way by Julia Cameron. And it's really focusing this first week about your inner voice and rewiring your negative thoughts into positive affirmations. It's just becoming so clear to me that transparency is the most important thing. Sometimes you don't realize how little you know yourself or how little you use your own personal voice until you try to use it. That's becoming very prevalent to me through this YouTube channel. But even more than that, it's coming through with my art style. I didn't pursue art from a direction of I have something to say or share with the world. It was more of my escape from things and it was very personal and meditative. And I didn't really like being vulnerable enough to share it with people. And I didn't understand why because I just viewed it as silly little 
paintings. I don't know where the ideas come from. It's nothing serious. But as I've been doing the inner work with these morning pages and the journaling practices, I'm really realizing why I was so uncomfortable sharing my artwork with people. And it's because I do have an artistic voice and my artwork is communicating something. And I was so uncomfortable being vulnerable enough to put myself out there and show it to people because any sort of critique or rejection of the artwork would hurt my emotions. It would make me upset. And not just that the skills weren't there, but the idea or the concept wouldn't be well received because my reality is that I am my artwork and my artwork is me. I had never thought about it in that way before, but now I look at it and I see this immense desire for comfort and coziness and safety this feeling of exhaustion and contemplation and just this sort of introspective quiet experience. What I wanted to encourage you to do today is to look back at your artwork and choose something that you really love. Or if you hate all of your work, choose the thing that you like the most out of it and do a little journaling practice. I really encourage you to write it down so you can look back through and document this, but try to look at your artwork from an objective third view. The color choice, the materials, the textures, the expressions, what emotions is it provoking? Think of it like you're seeing the work for the first time and write down how you're feeling about it. If you can't do that, Maybe you have somebody in your life who is willing to do that for you and be very impartial about how they're viewing the piece. And then look back upon what you or your friend wrote. While it was important that these expressions should really evoke comfort, safety, stillness, contemplation, nature. And once you have it written down, you have a recipe to your art style. It's always going to be evolving and changing, but taking time to slow down and have these realizations about how you are subconsciously showing up in your artwork can really guide you in the right direction as you start to navigate your own personal style. There is a reason that art is a therapeutic and meditative practice. It is a way to cut through all of the mental chatter and surface all of these deep emotions and parts of your unique human experience that you might not be able to communicate through words. So if you're somebody who is starting to figure out your art style or doesn't know what to do next, I really encourage you to try this. You're not alone. I am out here doing the same practice on a weekly basis. And if you are doing it as well, please leave a comment below about what you're learning about yourself or your art style. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to join me over here on YouTube. And as always, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic whatever day of the week it is.